Hey guys, Nick here with Overage Syndicate, and I'm bringing this video to you to answer the question, what is the difference between my course and Bob Diamond's course? So it's a valid question, and I've, I've been avoiding making a video like this because I don't, <clears throat> I don't really, I mean, obviously I've done reviews on all of the courses that I've taken. Um, but I don't want this to come across as, oh, I'm better than so-and-so. Um, that's not what this is. But this question gets, gets, I mean, I get this question almost every single day. And so it's worth making a video for. But I just want to be clear, like, I'm not claiming to be better than anyone or better than Bob Diamond or anyth anyone else that has a course out there. I'm just different. Um, and so that's that's what you at the end of the day, what I suggest people to do, if you're looking at an educational program, you're looking to learn overages or surplus funds, um, go with your gut, you know, go with who you think will be the best option for you. Um, I've got reviews on most of the overage courses out there. Um, so you can go check those out on my YouTube channel. Um, but in this one, we're just going to talk about um, the differences between mine and Bob Diamond's course. Uh, when I took it, it used to be called Hooked on Overages. Now I believe it is called Tax Sale Blueprint. Um, and so let's just jump into that and just talk about the differences. But again, I'm not saying that I'm better than, that my course is better than Bob's. It's just different. Um, <clears throat> I, I love Bob, like he is a great man, a great educator. Um, if it wasn't for him and his course that I had taken five years ago, um, I wouldn't be where I am today. Let's just be honest. Um, but since that time, I have learned my own systems and my own ways of doing things that have brought me success. And they are radically different than the way that Bob teaches things. So um, one of those things is this first point, Bob's course focuses strictly on tax sale overages or overages that are generated from tax sales. <clears throat> um, in my course, I teach my experience because I have experience both in tax and mortgage overages. Well, you're, you're probably asking what's the difference. If, if you don't know the difference, go and watch my other video, uh, the difference between tax sale overages and mortgage overages. But basically a tax sale overage is just when a property sells at a tax sale auction. So the county is recouping delinquent property taxes and it sells for more than what's owed to the county. A mortgage overage is, is just when a bank forecloses on a property and the property gets auctioned off and sells for more than what's owed to the bank. Um, that's a very brief explanation of the difference. So that's one of the biggest differences between mine and Bob's course is I talk about both tax and mortgage overages in mine. Um, Bob's only talks about tax overages. So you may ask, well, why would I need to know about mortgage overages? Well, <clears throat> with tax sale overages, there's only, there's about 14 states that I know of that you can't, there are no tax sale overages. They just don't exist in those states because of the way the tax sales are set up. Mortgage overages allows you to work more states, okay? Now, obviously, if you know how to do both, then you can profit in more ways and you can work in more states. But if you, if you only know how to do tax sale overages, then you're limited in the area that you can work. So that's one difference. Um, and probably one of the biggest differences, I think. For me, my business really took off when I when I figured out that I could apply the concept that I learned in Bob's course to mortgage overages. Um, because where I live, we just don't have a lot of tax sales. Each county has about um, one tax sale a year. And they don't, people in my state, I guess, are pretty good about paying their property taxes. We. The counties are not very aggressive in, in collecting delinquent property taxes. And so there's when tax sales do occur, there's not a lot of properties being auctioned off in my particular area. <clears throat> now, if you live in other states, sometimes you have tax sales every single month. So it just depends where you live. But for me, 
when I was able to figure out mortgage overages, then I, then I could, then I understood that in my area, we have a lot more mortgage overages than we do in tax sales. Um, and I found that to be true mostly on like, if you're on the West coast, so, you know, California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Washington, usually you're going to see more mortgage foreclosures than you are tax sales. Um, if you live in states like Florida, Georgia, Texas, um, Ohio, those states have a lot of tax sales. There's a lot of opportunity in tax sales, but there's also those states also have a ton of foreclosures as well, mortgage foreclosures. So it just depends on, do you want just one tool in your tool belt or do you want two? It, it's just a preference. Um, second point, learning format. I haven't looked at Bob's in a while, but last time I checked, it was just kind of mostly a PowerPoint, which is fine. I use PowerPoint. Obviously, this is PowerPoint. But one thing is that they tell you what to do, which is great. But one thing I like to do is show people how I do the business in my course. So I actually show people how I skip trace. I show people how I generate leads, both online and offline. Um, I show people you know, the forms and how do I find attorneys, all of that good stuff. So I try to show people, not just tell them what to do. So it's a different learning format. Um, price, let's talk about price. Prices, it's, um, they're almost identical, not quite. So Bob's, I believe is $1,500 if you pay it all up front. Or I think you can make three payments of like six hundred dollars, so eighteen hundred bucks. Um, my program is twelve ninety nine. If you pay it all up front, we also have a two month option and a three month option. The three month option obviously is the most expensive because you pay three payments of five hundred dollars or four ninety nine. So mine's a little more economical, but it's not much cheaper than Bob's. Um, website. So Bob's program provides a website to the students. I do not provide websites to my students. Um, and why is that? Well, you got to understand that every student that goes through Bob's course, they get the same website. And so for me, I came to a realization that if I wanted to stand out from the crowd, like if it came down to me and say someone else that had gone through the program, and we both had the same website, then there's not much differentiating us from a customer perspective, right? So for me, I came to a realization that I needed to get my own website so as to stand out from the crowd. And that's what I suggest all of my students to do is to get your own website so that you can stand out from, you know, everyone that just gets these websites from, you know, just a course that, it's the same website. Everyone gets the same website. There's no ability to customize it. So when you get testimonials, you can't put them on there. Um, and that's a big deal. Like I have testimonials on my website of past clients. Um, and so that helps in your credibility greatly is to develop your own website. <clears throat> and you can do it pretty inexpensively via virtual assistants such as Fiverr, Upwork.com, um, you can find people to build you a website very inexpensively nowadays. So it's not that difficult. So that's what I suggest, but, um, I don't provide websites. <clears throat> uh, let's talk about age. So I believe, I don't know exactly when Bob's course came out. I think it was like 2013, maybe older. I'm not sure. I bought it in 2015. From what I've heard, there haven't, I, it has changed a little bit since then, but not too much. Um, I think there's mention of like MySpace and stuff like that for skip tracing people, which, you know, that could work, but a lot of people don't use MySpace anymore. Um, mine came out in the fall of 2019. So it's uh, very up to date as far as, you know, the state laws. I have a 50 state guide talking about all the different laws, both for tax sales and mortgage overages. Um, and it's, um, it's just newer, so. Uh, the last point I want to make is the partnering. So I, I don't believe there's any partnering option with um, with Bob's program, whereas in my program, I do offer to partner with my students. 
as long as they follow a set criteria, which is inside the course, um, I'm open. I'm open to joint venturing with my students um, on any deals that they bring to the table. So, so that's another option, <clears throat> and just another difference. So, I hope that answers your question. You know, what's the difference between mine and Bob's course? Those are the main differences. There's maybe a couple of others, but this is the this is these are the main points. Um, again, at the end of the day, go with what your gut tells you. And, you know, follow your instincts on what program you should invest in. There's other programs out there. Again, there's reviews on almost all of them on my YouTube channel. Check out the reviews. And um, I hope that helps you. Uh, again, I, I did, I've, I've been avoiding this video, but so many people asked this question that it was, um, it was just time to make one, I guess. So I hope that helps. Um, let me know your questions below and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. I guess I should mention too, uh, if you want to check mine out, um, or the website for that, you can go directly to school.overagecourse.com uh, and click on this, this right here. And it might not, and yeah. So this is, this is showing you as if I was logged in <clears throat> so this is the whole curriculum and everything. Um, so you can you can check this out. If I'm logged out, let's see if it changes it up. So this is what you might see if you don't have a profile. Um, this is just the course, testimonial, a little bit about me, the curriculum, frequently asked questions, money back guarantee, read that carefully. Um, it's an action-based guarantee. So here's the thing. If you're a person that buys courses, consumes the content, and then requests a refund, uh, don't, don't buy my course. It's not for you. Um, if you have questions, you can email me here. And then, of course, there's a different payment plans available. Um, so at the filming of this video, it's $12.99. I'm sure in the future it will go up in price, but as of right now, it's that's where it is. And um, there's also two payments or three payments. So, and that's at school.overagecourse.com. So hope that helps and appreciate your time. Thanks guys.